Hot Wheels. One of the companies of all time. Cars, tracks, racing channels, world records, beams, merch, stuff. What in the name of God is And it? most importantly, games. Combine the amazing world of Hot Wheels along with speedrunning and you'll get an amazing product which you may have never considered seeing before. Quite a unique idea, right? I know, it's what you get from a high IQ semi-virgin German. <laughs> a large percentage of you may wonder how I got this idea and well, I just went home from school and randomly concluded, fuck it. Speedrun bottom text. Now, what game did I actually choose for this project? Well, it was of course, Hot Wheels beat that. Why, you may ask? Well, son, it's simple. Let me just tell you a story about why I think this was the right game to choose. Because it's the single best game ever created. Ladies and gentlemen, Nintendo games are simply just good. Can you guess what this game is about? Hot Wheels. 30 cars, 12 tracks, and the best experience a Hot Wheels game has to offer. Wait, you think simply driving around isn't fun enough? Don't you worry, fucko, we've got items. Fire shields, nitrous, cars shitting out nuclear weapons, and much, much more. It's also the game I have the most nostalgia for, so... <laughs> yeah, may have been a reason. <clears throat> Alright, yeah. But then there is me. A 16-year-old professional car driver against one of the smallest but most dedicated speedrunning communities that you're ever going to see. But is this truly something for me? Do I truly have what it takes to get a world record? Let's find out. Alright, before we begin with my speedrunning journey, let's just discuss a little bit about the game itself. Hot Wheels Speed That was developed by Eutechnics and published by Activision. The game came to the public eye in September of 2007, which is kinda scary because it's almost as old as me. The game was supposed to release on Xbox 360, Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 2, Nintendo DS, Nintendo 3DS, Wii, PlayStation 3, Xbox, Game, Cube, Game Boy, Xbox, Advanced, Microsoft, Microsoft Windows, 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 3DS. You get the idea. It was quite a big game. Like mentioned before, the DS version of this game has 30 cars, 12 tracks, a soundtrack for each track there is in the game. I have to agree with you right there. It does indeed sound like eargasm. And an extremely chaotic and fun racing experience. And it somehow manages to be more colorful than Fortnite. I found the speedrunning community after simply just hopping on YouTube, typing in the game's name after a deep nostalgia kick, and found somebody playing this game really, really fast. Not much. Oh shit! I mean, heck, they weren't only fast. They were almost as fast as me, IRL. <laughs> The video was uploaded in 2017, keep that date in mind. Since the run was pretty fast, but nothing out of the ordinary, I just thought, hey, he's driving this game fairly well, I can do that too. So a few moments later, I went onto speedrun.com to find out if his time got actually beaten, and yes, his time got indeed beaten. By 7 minutes. At first, I couldn't fucking comprehend how the hell this was even possible, since his run was really good. But, after researching, considering, analyzing, and fact-checking all of the runs, I was left with unique, but comprehensible answers. So, the run he attempted in that video was the All Tournaments Any% percent Speedrun. In this speedrun, you complete all three tournaments on easy mode. 
So, in a nutshell, you'll drive all 12 tracks as quick as possible. In late 2018, a small group of people found out about a lot of bugs, which were found at almost every track in the game. So, a few dedicated people put in real hard work to find out if those bugs would actually save time on the tracks, and yes, they did. And they've spent months, and even years, trying to perfect these crazy shortcuts, which leads us to the runs of today. Now, you're probably thinking, how crazy are these shortcuts actually? Well, the world record holder, plain old pants, put out a document going over each and every shortcut you can do in the entire game. I swear to god, this list is longer than the fucking bible. But since you're probably not gonna read all of this, I'm gonna run you through all of them. For the first track, you simply drive up a wall, glitch yourself onto the next floor, use the in-game shortcut to get a checkpoint, and bam, you're done with the first lap. Make sure to drive over the white stripes of the in-game shortcut. Because otherwise, if you're too greedy on the shortcut and miss out on the white stripes, sorry fucko, your lap won't count. Try again, sweaty. For the second shortcut, you simply drive up the first ramp as intended, and simply cut the jump so you can glitch through to a further part of the track. The amount of nerves I lost on this shortcut is fucking uncountable. Next up, you go from a small gap jump to a bigger gap jump, to an even bigger gap jump. Next up, you squeeze yourself through a wall. Just go in, just go in, just go in. No shortcut found, no shortcut found again. Do a perfectly timed jump, so you can land near the in-game shortcut, which will give you a checkpoint. Skip a loop. No shortcut found. Use the track elevation to do a perfectly timed jump so you can land on the last section of the track. And make sure to time it correctly, otherwise you'll get a reset. No Use the ramp after the loop and do another perfectly timed jump. And now you're basically done. Now do this three times in a row, all in one go. You can probably see why it's difficult. Now all that was left for me to do was to practice all of these shortcuts and find out where my speedruns can land on the leaderboard. After a couple of weeks of practicing, I was ready. Now of course, since this is a video, I tried to record all of my runs as well as all of the clips I've showed you so far in the highest quality. What I needed for that was a capturing model as well as a capture card. So I tried to look into it and it turns out I have to pay over fucking 500 euros to record all of my runs using the capturing model. Now since I'm a semi-sane human being. I of course didn't buy the capturing model for 500 euros, so I had to come up with a solution. And I found the perfect thing. My GoPro. To get the best possible recording for my GoPro, I just took it and strapped it on top of a bunch of Jenga blocks. You know, like a true mechanic. And with all coming together, I only had to prove what I'm capable of on this speedrun. The only thing I had to do was to start it and see where I would land on the leaderboard. Thanks again for making it to the end of the video. We're trying to hit 420 subs and a like as well as a comment would be much appreciated. And extremely needed.